Hi honeybees, today I'm gonna to be doing my Sephora sale recommendations and also maybe a few wish list items that I might have in my shopping cart. And I'm going to give you all the information about the Sephora sale and a little bit extra about how you can save some additional money. So first off, the VIBs, which I'm a VIB, um, starts different times than Rouge and Beauty Insider. So if you are a Rouge member, you get 20% off from October 30th to November 9th. VIBs um, get 15% off from November 3rd to the 9th. And then Beauty Insiders get 10% off from November 5th to November 9th. And the code, like the little coupon code you use is HOLIDAY FUN in all caps. And I'll have all of that information linked down below for you guys, including everything I talk about today, everything I'm wearing today, including what I have on my face will be down below, super easy. And I figured I could get away with the cat ears today since it's hot week of Halloween. Any, yeah, no, maybe not. So before I get into all of my recommendation and wish list items for the Sephora sale, I do want to thank TopCashBack.com for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome way to save more money. So on top of getting the 20%, 15%, off 10%, whatever you're getting off, you can also get cash back by shopping through TopCashBack.com. And the reason I actually started using TopCashBack.com over other competitors is because 100% of commission goes to the members, to us shopping. Um, usually the comp like other competitors will take a percentage. They don't do that. They give 100% back to their members. So that allows the rates, the cashback percent rates to be higher with them. So I definitely suggest trying them out. It's super easy to use and free to sign up. So I'll have all that info linked down below. And if you sign up, you get a $10 cashback bonus on top of it. Um, so you could be shopping the Sephora sale. All you have to do, sign in on topcashback.com, click on the Sephora little link that says 7% or 5% cashback, whatever it may be. Just click on that and it will redirect you to the Sephora site and calculate your cashback. Um, so super easy and I'll have it all linked down below now. Let's all right, guys, let's get into the recommendation and wish list items. So all the recommendation items I'm going to share with you, I am wearing and I've been wearing for months. I love these products. I use them on a daily basis almost. The lip products, maybe not on a daily basis because I like to switch that up. But the face products I use every single day. And I know you guys will love them just as much as I do. And if you can get a discount like right now, definitely suggest it. I also really suggest shopping the sale for Christmas items. So if you're shopping for people that really like perfumes, skincare, makeup, Sephora sale is when you should shop. I know it's really early to be thinking about Christmas gifts, but I mean, it's a really good option to save a little money while also getting some awesome gifts for people. Okay, so I'm first gonna start with complexion. I have a few things. So the first item I've been using for about a solid month now. Um, if you watch my vlogs, then you know that I got this in a BoxyCharm subscription service. And it is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer with Vitamin C and Banana Power. Uh, or excuse me, banana powdered inspired pigments. Um, this is so brightening. It gives your skin such a nice refreshed glow. And it kind of blurs everything a little bit too, um, plus as, acts as a makeup primer. So it's skincare and a primer in one. It smells delicious and divine like oranges. Not really banana, even though it has that banana powder, powdered pigment in there. Um, but because of that, it just gives your skin this glow from underneath your makeup. So I really think it's working well for me. As you can see, I've used a good amount but I absolutely love it and definitely suggest that. I believe they have a set, like a holiday set with this in it. So I will link that below as well as just the individual one. So then for foundation, I have been combining these two products for a while now and it's made my foundation last a lot longer and I'm getting the skincare benefits from this. So this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. And this has SPF 50, UVA, UVB coverage. It's anti-aging um, serum properties to it. So you're getting skincare and coverage. And it has some great coverage on its own. Um, if this wasn't so dark, this one is the light to medium. And I'm usually either fair or light, depending on the time of year. So this one is just a little too dark for me. So I've been combating that by using this foundation with it. Um, but honestly, I've used the It Cosmetics CC Cream all summer, every single year with no other foundation. I'll usually just use a, con oop, 
throwing stuff around. Um, I usually would just use a concealer with it to give a little more extra coverage where I need it. So the next foundation is by Too Faced. I'm almost out of this, so maybe I should pick one up during the sale, but this is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. And this is oil-free. It's supposed to be 14 hour wear, although I don't know if I wear it quite for that long. Um, oil controlling and photo friendly, so it doesn't have any flashback when you're taking your photos. And it is a very mattifying foundation, definitely better for someone with oily to normal skin type. Um, I'm not sure how this would work with dry skin. I have normal to oily. This is awesome for summertime or just when I know I'm gonna be in like a more humid or hot climate. Um, so I tend to get a little oilier during that time, but it's beautiful, has a pump, and so does the It Cosmetics. I didn't say that, the CC cream has a pump. It's just awesome. So if you're oily, grab that. Okay. Concealer I've been trying out for the last few months and Jaclyn Hill actually suggested this in a video recently a couple months ago and I decided to give it a try and I'm really glad I did um, because again, just like the CC cream, it has skincare properties to it so it does more for your skin than just cover up what you don't want to show and this is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer and I am in the shade number Ch or it's Chicory SC1. And it's more of like my skin color, so this is not something I would use to highlight my under eyes. It's more for when I'm doing natural makeup days or for coverage in areas not under my eyes that I don't need to be brightened. Um, it has great coverage, but it's very thin, and it's like a serum consistency. It's just very thin and hydrating. I do need to set this or it will um, crease a little for me just because I don't know why <laughs> I just need to set it. Um, but I think it's just because it's so emollient. It's so like hydrating for under the eyes, but it sets beautifully. And this is the kind of applicator, just like a, like a flat doe foot applicator. It's beautiful. Lots of shade range too. So check that out. Of course, this would not be a Sephora recommendation video without me mentioning hourglass ambient powders. These are heavenly. They are the most beautiful thing you will put on your skin. They give a gorgeous soft focus to the skin and glow. And I specifically have repurchased Diffuse Light repeatedly because I use this as my under eye setting powder. And I did use it today. And you can see that it just gives me a really pretty glow under there. It's not the concealer that's doing that it's this powder and there are different shades so if you don't have yellow in your skin like I do um, I'm more like a neutral but I do pull a yellow so if you don't then I wouldn't use diffuse light I would probably use dim light which has a more pink undertone but it'll still give you that beautiful soft focus glow and you can put this all over your face as a setting powder or use it to just like highlight and soften um, that's why the holiday palettes are so awesome from Hourglass. Now, I do believe this is not sold out yet, and they pretty much brought back the same exact one from a few years ago, and that's why I didn't do a review on it this year. Um, and this one's gotten a lot of love, so you'll see I've hit pan on one specific one, which is Diffuse Light. So they do have a six pan palette like this out again for holiday with Hourglass. I'm trying not to blind you guys. Um, beautiful packaging, and this is great for travel. So that is why that is used up because I use this all the time for travel. So we have Diffuse Light, which I use to set my face or to highlight. These two are beautiful like highlight powders without glitter in them. They just give a really beautiful glow. Again, I have that on my cheeks today. And then there's a more plummy blush that has swirls of ambient powder, so it also has that beautiful soft focus glow. And then we have an ambient blush. This one's a little bright. I did use it today, but very softly on my cheeks. And then there is a bronzer. Now, all of these products in this specific six pan are glowy. And most of the Hourglass like ambient line has like a little bit of a glow. And some of them have a sparkle, but that's the highlights. I definitely suggest these, they're very pricey. So I always make sure to pick up a backup of Diffuse Light during the sale, because um, at least I send, I save about $10. These are 48, I believe, and on 20%, well, I get 15% now, but at 20%, it, I believe it's 38. Um, so I'll link that all below. So I'm really sorry about that. So now we're talking about Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Oh my gosh, this is the airbrush bronzer. It is a matte bronzer that does the perfect sculpting job. I do have it on um, my contour today. I absolutely love it. There's different shades. So um, if you have a hard time either finding bronzers that are dark enough for you or are maybe um, not light enough, 
you will probably find one in this line because they have a couple shades. So I'm in shade number two, and I also just love this packaging. It's so old world, classic beauty, just like 1920s vibes to me. And look how large and in charge this bronzer is. Like it's the size of my entire hand, like in my entire palm. It's huge. And it just gives the most beautiful, soft focus. Again, like the ambient powders, they complement each other really well, and it just blends so easily. Absolutely love these. Um, again, Charlotte Tilbury is on the higher end of things, but if you have a huge coupon, this is the time, in my opinion, to buy the larger ticket items. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury again, eyeshadow like cream pots. I think they're called Eyes to Memorize. Yeah, Eyes to Memorize. I have three of these shades. I use them almost daily. I did use one today, and this is one of the newer ones I've picked up recently, um, and it was actually during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but this is called Star Gold. And it's just like that perfect bronzy, warm cream shadow. Now these are perfect on their own. They have great pigments and blend out with a lot of pigments still. Sometimes cream shadows, like once you start blending them out, they'll just completely disappear. Not the case for the Charlotte Tilbury. So that's the star gold. I also have this really pretty, this one I've used quite a bit of. It's more of like a champagne color has like a little bit of more of a cool tone to it. That's that one right there. Gorgeous, right? Okay, so I always use a base like these, which I love. And then for my eyeshadow lately, I've been in love, obsessed with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. This one specifically I got for my birthday in July. So I've been using it since July. It's called the Bronze Palette. And it just has the perfect shade range for fall and just that cozy, warm eye look. I have that on today. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me turn down this light a little. And in, on my eyes today, I used this shade in my crease, this shade in my crease right here. And then this shade first on my lid, but then I layered it with this Tarte shadow that is the best gold eyeshadow you will ever find. So really it's a pressed pigment from Tarte and they're called the Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. And this one is called Sun Drenched. And you can just see like it's such a glowy gold, it's so pretty. So they have a bunch of other shades and I'm tempted to get a different shade. Oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. Let me do a little swatch. It just has a really dimensional glow to it. It's not like your standard gold shadow. But if you want to save money and just do the palette, there are so many beautiful golds in this as well. I'll swatch one next to it. I'll do true bronze next to it from Natasha. Also gorgeous. Okay, next, the best liquid liner is definitely Kat Von D's um, Trooper. This one is called Dagger and it's Trooper Black, but I like the shape of the original. It's a brush tip, it's super black, it stays all day, it glides so easily and I mean, just the best. I've used so many liquid liners and the Kat Von D is the best. And mascara, Too Faced Better Than Sex is my tried and true. I always go back to this. I either layer it with different mascaras when I'm trying different ones out. And that's because this one gives the most dramatic eyelash look without me having to wear fake lashes. I never wear fake lashes anymore, really. Um, it's just very rare that I do, maybe on a photo shoot or something, but just very rare. But this has an hourglass shape, a natural bristle wand, super nice and black, and just stays all day long for me and gives me that really voluminous look to my lashes, and that's what I want. So, the only mascara that I've probably repurchased more than 10 times. <laughs> Love it so much. Brow products, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, Benefit Gimme Brow has been there for me since it first came out years ago. I absolutely love that. That's what I use for my brows. It is fibrous, so it kind of gives you more fullness and texture without it just being like a flat, because it kind of grabs to your natural brow hairs, but also helps you to fill in the empty spaces too of your that your brows might have. 
plus I use a pencil also. Um, I am using the Benefit one that comes in the set that, that has the Gimme Brow in it, so I'll leave that link down below. And that's a really good brow pencil. My favorite brow pencil probably either is the It Cosmetics, the Skinny Brow ones, um, which I don't know if Sephora has those. I think Ulta only does, but this is this is the first step for me and on natural makeup days i don't even use anything else on my brows except this and it's just like a little teeny brush that has the fibers on it comes in all different kinds of shades i am in the shade three i believe but again i'll put that down below okay getting into my favorite part lip products so first i'm going to talk about what's on my lips currently and it's a Too faced liquid lip so they always have these really cute holiday sets where they'll have these little mini liquid lips and that is honestly the best way to grab these because they last forever. You don't reapply like tons of times throughout the day just because they don't come off. Um, they don't dry out my lips and they just always look amazing. And that's, if I'm wearing liquid lip, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing the Too Faced ones. So they do have another holiday set out this year. This one was from last year and I'm wearing Cinnamon Bear on my lips right now. Um, but they also had in that set last year, hot buttered rum and pumpkin spice. And I wear these all the time. Like if you watch me on Instagram, like if you look at my Insta stories or my, um, Instagram posts again, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing one of these lip colors right now. Cause they have been my fall go-to colors. And I do believe Sephora selling this pumpkin spice one separately. So I'll make sure to link that. And then Charlotte Tilbury again is my girl. When it comes to lip products, she's knocked it out of the park with her Matte Revolution lipsticks. Absolutely love them and I have obviously a bunch. Again, the packaging is to die for, rose gold, just super classic design. And the one that I recommend for Christmas time is Red Carpet Red. Um, and again, is this the, I believe this is the Matte Revolution. Mm, they have that like vanilla scent to them too. Just like the perfect red. And this one is very similar to the one I have on my lips that's a liquid lip. So if you don't like liquid lips and you and you like more of like a lipstick, this is not drying either and will stay really, really well. So beautiful. Now that's not my most worn of all the shades. I do wear it a lot at Christmas time though and it's coming so I thought I would tell you that. But Bitch Perfect is one of my favorite nudes and this is not the matte version though. This is one of her glossier or her more hydrating ones. They have a little, little bit of gloss in them. That's Bitch Perfect. And then this is, this one is a matte revolution one and this is Pillow Talk I think, right? No, Super Cindy. Super Cindy, a little bit darker of a nude, but still like a really good wearable everyday color. And then we have Pillow Talk. And this is a matte Revolution too. And it just has a little bit more cooler toned of a pink to it. This one has a little more warmth in it, but it is my go-to nude lip. If you see me wearing a nude lip lately, it's either this one or Bitch Perfect usually. It's so beautiful. And there is a set that comes with the Pillow Talk liner, which is another thing I was gonna talk about. This is my go-to liner for almost everything except reds um, because I feel a nude liner is just like perfect for me, nine times out of 10. And this color is just like my lips, but better. And I use that lipstick and then there's a gloss also that I love. So I'll link that set below. But other than those, shades this one's just a really fun one and i would suggest it if maybe you have like every shade you can think that you need of lipstick but you want to try something different this is this is going to be your jam so this is called the pillow talk diamonds lipstick from charlotte tilbury and i don't know if you'll be able to just see yeah i think you can there is straight up like beautiful glowiness in this lipstick and it's not gritty, but it is something that's like more of a topper or kind of almost like a lip balm feel, but it's not. I don't wanna put this on top of it because it's gonna ruin it. But you can, you can see right here, it gives the most beautiful glow. And if you just put this in the center of your lips, it gives it more of a plump 
look to it like sexy and sassy it's just so pretty and it does come in a few different shades but the pillow talk one is my favorite because it has that pink a little bit of nude a little bit of pink perfect everyday wear so those are the lipsticks i suggest so this is like having dry shampoo and a volumizer all in one. It gives my hair some like texture and you know fullness, especially with my shorter hair right now, um, but also kind of helps the oil production in my scalp too, I feel like. Uh, I do have to really wrestle it since my hair is dark. Um, it can leave a white cast if I'm not careful if I spray it too close to my hair. So make sure to just spray it from a distance. Um, but it's awesome. So looking at my wish list here, I first have the Laneige Glowy Lip Wonders. Um, this one has the berry and the gummy berry lip um, balms. So they're like a little bit of a tint. They feel a lot like the Laneige Lip Mask, but a little thinner and easier to carry in your purse. And the berry one has been my go-to for just like during the day when I just want some lip balm and I don't want to put lipstick on because no one's, you know, no one's seeing it because my mask is on um, unless I'm vlogging for you guys or like with Chris or something. So I feel like lip balm like this is our jam right now. A little bit of tint so you feel good. It's nice and hydrating. And if you take your mask off, your lips aren't gonna be all crusty and weird. Like they're gonna look real nice still. And I like that there's sets right now. So you could try the lip mask out and this lip balm um, in one of the sets. So I really like that. And speaking of lip balms, NARS has one that I've really been wanting to try. It's a tinted lip balm. And they have a set with the Orgasm Blush and the Lip Ultimate, or it's called the Lip Ultimate Set and Blush, I guess. This has the Orgasm Blush, a full-size Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm, and that's a sheer peachy pink with golden shimmer, and a full-size Orgasm Oil Infused Lip Tint. Um, so both look so gorgeous, and they're very much up my alley, like the color choice, and I just think it would be so pretty. Since I love the Laneige one so much, I think I might really enjoy that too. So that's high on my list to try. And then I do have some cologne and perfumes in my cart to go for gifts. They have some great holiday sets for perfume, so definitely check those out. Uh, perfume suggestions. Victor and Rolf Flower Balm is a go-to for me. Also, um, what is that one called? Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. That's actually what I have on today. And then YSL Black Opium. Those are, the, those are the three perfumes that I consistently go back to and repurchase and suggest during the sale. Um, the cologne that Chris wears is Blue de Chanel and oh my goodness, I got him hooked on that a couple years ago. I got it for him as a gift and he loves it, loves it. But also he got um, one that Johnny Depp promotes and I can't think of the name, but I'll link it down below. Um, it smells so good, like sexy man, 100%. <laughs> so I'll make sure to link those if you're thinking of gifts. I'm yeah. also, of course, gonna pick up my Shiseido cotton. I always do every time there's a sale, just because I don't like paying full price for it because it's a little pricier for cotton, but it is the best there that is out there. It's so soft and plush and it feels really nice on my eyes. It just makes my makeup and skincare routine a little more luxurious. And then, so I already mentioned the Benefit Gimme Brow, but they do have a set that has a full size and a mini for $24 pre 20% off. So that's a really good deal. I would definitely suggest that. I'm very, very tempted by the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Warm and Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. The colors look so beautiful, but I probably won't get it just because I know that I have those shades probably in my collection already, but how cute is that? Super, super cute. They also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in a set of two full size um, for a discounted price because it's a holiday set technically. And I did purchase that last year at the sale and I still am using up one more. So they last me about a year for two. Um, one lasts me about six months, I guess three to, three to six months, just depends on how much I wear makeup. But that's a really good deal. I didn't get a chance to talk about skincare too much, so I will go ahead and link down below the skincare that I'm currently using. I'm using the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury, an eye cream from It Cosmetics, and a serum 
The serum, I'm kind of going in between two different serums, one from Ola Hendrickson and one from a CBD company that has like a brightening serum, so that's not on Sephora. So I'll just link what I can down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been using and loving and recommend to you and what wish list items I have for the sale. Um, so that is it for my recommendations and the few items I have on my wish list. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing. Happy shopping. And don't forget, sign up for chopcashback.com before you make your um, purchases so that you can save some money and get some cash back from them as well. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.